so in this video um, we are looking at um, a, a radiator from a Chevy Express van when it's not in the car actually it's a very light a radiator is a very light part you can see how, how easily you can just pick it up like that it's, uh, it's made of aluminum and this is what it looks like so you, if you look at it um, you'll see that oh, it is a new one so you'll see when you buy it new this is how it comes you see on top here is where the pressure cups come uh, goes it goes it goes in here you remove this plastic and you put the pressure cup here is goes this hose here you put you put a hose here that goes to the tank the tank the overflow tank in the uh, in the engine where if there's too much pressure in the radiator it over overflows from this hose and goes into the tank that's the tank that you have um, in your engine that you you can ch that, uh, that you use to check the level of the coolant in your car and here if you look at uh, uh, okay here this 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 little little like horse here it, man it maintains the pressure inside the radiator and when you buy a new radiator you'll see that it will come with this hardware here and in this this hardware here basically is just a cover like a like a, a, a top cover which goes in here so it goes in here and you basically just lock it you, you use this to lock it you use this clip to lock it in okay so so no hose no hose goes in in here you just cover it with this fitting here the hardware and then you uh, you lock it in there with that clip here you remove this these are the coolant uh, 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 coolant pressure hoses they just clip in there's one here and there's, there's another one here in the bottom you'll see when you um, if you look at the old one you see there's two hoses they go into the engine they are thin wire um, what you call, um, uh, what you call uh, lines thin lines pressure ho pre uh, coolant pressure hose lines that go in here you just push them in here and they clip in you can see they are very easy to do and keep an eye on my next video when I'm changing uh, the old one into the new one and you'll see how they go in they are very easy to change so one goes in here the other one goes in here and down here you have the, the lower coolant hose the big hose this is the lower one goes in here then when you come on this other side here you have the top coolant hose you remove this plastic it, this is just uh, to protect uh, the new radiator when it's coming from the store so, so the top one coolant hose goes in there so basically the, um, <laughs> when looking at it um, the red is a very simple part and it's not hard to put it in and look out for, for the next video coming of how to change it so basically those are the, the the only things you have to look out for the top coolant hose the lower coolant hose the uh, the coolant lines the pressure lines these two then you have to this uh, the hose that goes from here to the tank the plastic tank in the engine so keep an eye on the video on how to change it uh, this is a simple video of a Chevy Express radiator okay thank you for watching